Our Honorable Minister of State for Science, Technology and Space is here, Dr. Jitendra Singh, so I request him to speak a few words. India, and congratulations, ISRO. And while the whole world watched this with bated breath, it is indeed, indeed a sunshine moment for India. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji for making this happen by opening up new vistas for India's space sector and telling us that sky is not the limit. <laughs> Thanks also, Honorable PM, for giving us the confidence, the courage and the conviction to reach out to the stars. Nima Upida Raktanalakala Samasigi, Evis Aspatrigali, Kefala Movatunimshida, Laser Ticket Sigundi, Mukti Hundabodo, Hechina Vivara Kaligagi, Sampar Kisi, eight zero, triple eight, three seven, triple zero. And to discover the mysteries of universe beyond. And thanks also for making us realize the enormous potential of our space fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, Indian scientists had been working, toiling day and night for years and years together. But now, now comes the moment of vindication, the moment of redeeming the pledge to the nation. And coming close on the heels of successful Chandrayaan-3 landing, the successful launch of Aditya L1 is also a testimony to the whole of science and a whole of nation approach with which we have sought to adopt in our work culture. While ISRO is credited in executing this mission, the science institutes across the country have come forward to contribute in one form or the other, in small measure or big, to this mission. To name a few, the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru, the National Aerospace Laboratories, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, the Nijri, NGRI, Nagpur, the IIT, Khadakpur, IIT, Madras, IIT, Delhi, IIT, Mumbai, and the list is too long. But that, having said that, gives me the confidence to say that this day, the 2nd of September 2023, is a day of reckoning when we move on into the next 25 years of Amrit Kal and Mother India pledges with the collective will and collective effort of our 140 crore children to reach and occupy the place of pride on the world pedestal. Congratulations once again, Chairman Somanath, the entire ISRO team and the entire countrymen. Uh, may I request uh, the project director of Aditya L1, Nigar Shaji, to say a few words. Good afternoon. It's a dream come true for uh, team Aditya L1. And I'm extremely happy that Aditya L1 is uh, injected in the intended orbit flawlessly by PSLV as always. And Aditya L1 solar panels are deployed. And this is to be normal. And Aditya L1 has started its 125 days of long journey towards L1. We have uh, our Earth burns to rise the orbit and, that, and followed by the trans L1 injection and finally insertion into the halo orbit in the sun Earth Lagrange in point L1. Once the Aditya is commissioned, it will be an asset to the heliophysis of the country and even to the global scientific fraternity. And I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, uh, Director URSC, and former Director URSC, and all the Center Directors for their support and guidance for making this mission possible. And my thanks are due to my project team and all the project executives across the Center, payload teams, especially the teams from the IAA and IUCA, for the relentless effort in building the payload as well as the spacecraft. And my special, my special thanks to the expert committee 
who have been guiding all through the entire project life cycle and i thank all the industrial partners and the entire urc team for uh, their invaluable contribution and i feel really honored and privileged to be part of this mission and at this juncture i like to remember i would like to remember professor u r rao who sowed the seed for this uh, mission and looking forward for a successful hello orbitin session and for the science great science output from the aditya l1 mission thank you thank you all uh shri biju the mission director and the project director of pslv good afternoon to all my big salute to all of you for achieving this wonderful mission of aditya we have injected aditya in its intermediate orbit pslv in its uh, 59th mission has successfully accomplished uh, injecting aditya l1 in its intermediate orbit it's all because of the dedicated effort of all of you uh, the challenging requirements given by satellite team was in need very um, um, in 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 it it was very challenging to meet the orbital requirements we have given gone for a new mission design strategy we have gone through an numerous simulations to validate this and that is the proof that you are having now i take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for achieving this wonderful mission i take this opportunity to thank all my review forums chairman and members of all review forums and our industry partners for giving high reliable systems to, uh, for pslv and all our family members with this our uh, capability of pslv has increased manifold to uh, venture into new missions to new and challenging missions i take this opportunity to thank my project team led by our sri mj lal as well as uh, uh, damodaran vehicle director and associate vehicle director in leading the nta campaign i wish our um, satellite team an excellent excellent time ahead for completing all the operations and completing all scientific objects uh, objectives they have envisaged thank you all thank you very much Uh, thank you everybody for spending your time watching this mission uh, and also supporting us and congratulating us and we joined the entire country uh, we are very proud of the fact that we could do this mission uh, aditya l1 mission just following the chandrayaan 3 uh, activities and uh, and all of you are aware that the lander and the rover are still functioning and our team is uh, with the scientific instruments doing lot of work now and the uh, good news is that the rover has moved almost 100 meters from uh, the lander and uh, we are going to start the process of uh, making the both of them sleep in the coming one or two days because uh, it has to withstand the night so until we see, hear about them later so i would like to say big thanks to each one of you for the support and encouragement and blessings that you are giving to us for continuing the work uh, of uh, building the very strong space infrastructure and capability for india and which will be becoming the one of the strong pillars of science and technology for this nation and thank you so much for once for the contributions once again and wish you all the best for meeting you until for next mission from sadhya sarvan space center thank you ಇಸ್ರೊ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಇಂಜಕ್ಕೂ ಇದೆಲ್ಲದಕ್ಕೂ ಕೂಡ ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಕೈ ಜೋಡಿಸಿದ್ರು ಅವರ ಹೆಸರುಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಿರುವಂಥವ್ರು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಮಾತಾಡಿರುವಂಥ ದೃಶ್ಯಾವಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವೀಗ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಷ್ಟರ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳು ಪ್ರೇರಣೆ ಆಗಬಲ್ಲರು ಅನ್ನಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದಂದರೆ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಸಚಿವರು ಕೂಡ ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರಿದ್ದರು ಸೊ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅಂದರೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಚಂದ್ರಯಾನದ ಬಗ್ಗೆಯೂ ಕೂಡ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಚಂದ್ರಯಾನದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ರೋವರ್ ಇನ್ನೂ ಕೂಡ ಯಶಸ್ವಿಯಾಗಿ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕೂಡ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ನೂರು ಮೀಟರ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಕ್ರಮಿಸಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಎನ್ನುವಂಥ ಮಾತು ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಎಲ್ವನ್ ಉಡಾವಣೆ ಯಶಸ್ಸಾಗಿರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ಮೋದಿ ಕೂಡ ಅಭಿನಂದನೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಟ್ವೀಟ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಪ್ರಧಾನಿ ಮೋದಿ ಅಭಿನಂದನೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಸ್ರೋದಿಂದ ಬಾಹ್ಯಾಕಾಶದ ಜರ್ನಿ ಮುಂದುವರೆದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಪ್ರಧಾನಿ ಬಣ್ಣಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಅಭಿನಂದನೆ ಅಂತ ಪ್ರಧಾನಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದಣಿವರಿಯದ ವೈಜ್ಞಾನಿಕ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮುಂದುವರಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಇಡೀ ಮಾನವ ಕುಲದ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮುಂದುವರಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೊಸ ಹೊಸ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆಗಳಾಗ್ತಾ ಇವೆ ಟ್ವೀಟ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಪ್ರಧಾನಿ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ಮೋದಿ ಅಭಿನಂದನೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿರುವಂಥ ರೀತಿ ಇದು ಟ್ವೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಇದೊಂದು ಸಂತಸದ ದಿನ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಬಾಹ್ಯಾಕಾಶದ ಜರ್ನಿ ಮುಂದುವರೆದಿದೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡದ ಅಧ್ಯಯನಕ
ಇನ್ನೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದರಿಂದ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಸಹಕಾರಿಯಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ದಣಿವರಿಯದ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಆ ದಣಿವರಿಯದ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಇನ್ನೂ ಕೂಡ ಮುಂದುವರಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಸಂಶಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಪ್ರಧಾನಿ ಮೋದಿ 